Something that you will see a lot in the YouTube community is just backstabbing. And you can think that you are the best of friends and then you're just not. There's a fine line between loyalty and money. And I think that these YouTubers go from friends and followers and Instagram buddies to becoming competitors in this market space. When Tati launched her own brand, Halo Beauty, she didn't get the support from her friend James Charles that she was hoping for. James Charles went to Coachella in 2019 and apparently needed some sort of VIP experience because he was getting mobbed by fans. So he reached out to Sugar Bear Hair. Sugar Bear Hair gave him the VIP tickets in exchange for posting an Instagram story. So he posted the story, not really thinking anything of it. This was a direct competitor to Halo Beauty. So he basically promoted her competition when supposedly they were best friends. It was rumored that James Charles had reached out to Tati via text message to explain his side of the story. But in Tati's eyes, the damage was already done. Tati, after James posted that story, went on her Instagram Live and was very upset. She was crying, she was talking about how a friend had just betrayed her trust, how she was sick of doing things for other people when they wouldn't do anything in return. Then, on May 10th, 2019, supposedly at the urging of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, Tati posted a video titled, Bye Sister, in which she called 19-year-old James Charles a shady opportunist who made inappropriate overtures to straight men. It marked the beginning of YouTube's second epic beauty battle, Dramageddon 2.